got to be honest, I was expecting cute animals and flowers. That, that's, that's poo. That's disgusting. Oh no, it's, spra it's spraying on me. It's on me. I'm not in a field being sprayed with cow muck for fun. Oh no, I'm on a mission to learn about a big climate change issue. And one that a lot of people aren't talking about, and that is saving our soil. Farmer Lewis runs an organic farm in Cheshire, which means for him, soil is really important. Lewis, it's really good to meet you. You too. This field stinks. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. It's really pongy. But listen, why are you doing this? Why are you putting poo all over the field? Well, the poo actually is really good for our soil. The poo's got loads of nutrients in it that are great for helping all the plants grow. Ah, but surely if you plant something in soil, it will just grow, right? Oh, Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay. There's so much more to it than that. Do you know 95% of the food we eat comes from the soil? Does it really? Yeah, we need to look after it. Come on, let me show you something. Oh dear, I've spotted a shovel. What could this be for, Lewis? Well, this <laughs> needs to go into there. OK, right, let's get, oh, get stuck in. I'm trying not to think of it as poo. You actually can tell this is really fresh. <laughs> Just by the eh. For Lewis, using natural fertilisers is the best way of growing crops. So why is it important to you to feed the soil in this way? The alternative is to use chemicals. And although we can grow crops that way, it's not good for the soil health itself. Around the world, human activity is damaging soil, causing it to wash or blow away. The problem is so great that every minute, 30 football pitches worth of soil are being lost to soil erosion. It takes around 100 years to create just half a centimetre of new soil, so our ability to grow food could be under threat. But on Lewis's farm, things are looking better. Yeah, that's a good one. a lovely bit of muck. The muck spreader is packed full of poo, ready to feed the next field. So when we talk about feeding soil, what do we actually mean? Like, what in the soil is being fed? So soil's just alive with different organisms. So just in that amount of soil, there is more life than there are people on Earth. No. Yeah. So I'm... even though we can't see it, because you don't just mean worms and bugs, we're talking microorganisms, is that right? We're talking bacteria, fungi, all sorts. And they work and they break down that muck and make it into nutrients that make it available for the plants to grow. This extraordinary hidden array of life beneath our feet helps to give plants the fuel they need to thrive. Ah, so when we're muck spreading, we're feeding soil, that's what we're feeding, basically. Yes, exactly that. So what if we don't look after soil? Well, if we don't look after the soil, we won't be able to grow in it at all. The soil itself will be dead, all these organisms will have gone, and we won't be able to grow any more crops. That's terrifying. Exactly. The, the, the future of, of world food depends on it. Who knew just how important this stuff is? But what can we all do to play our part in saving soil? To find out, I'm heading to meet Blue Peter's green-fingered friend, George, who has a couple of top tips up his sleeve. George, hello! Hello! Listen, I've had the stinkiest experience, but I'm now officially in love with soil and everything that lives inside it. So, can you give me some top tips? I need your help. I can. There's loads and loads you can do to help the soil in your own home. Go on, let me show you. Amazing. I love George. <laughs> So, we're going to plant some broad beans along here. OK, perfect. I'll get stuck in. Why is this so important for the soil? Now, plants are really good at helping the soil. They bind it together using the roots so that the rain doesn't wash it away. And then plants are also super, super good at capturing carbon out of the atmosphere and burying it in the soil. OK, get planting in bare ground to preserve soil. What else? Well, next up is composting. This just looks like soil to me, so what exactly is the difference? So, soil, it's like made up of bits of rocks and sand and things like that. Compost, it's like new, fresh, 
organic matter that's decomposing away and releasing lots of nutrients. So how do you actually make compost? How have you done this? So what you do is you pile up things that are organic, so things like twigs and leaves, kitchen waste, yeah. but you've got to make sure that it hasn't been cooked. So it's all fresh, bits of veg, eggshells, anything like that, that can go in. So I just literally just pour just it in? Just pour it in. You can even put things that you've chopped off the trees from the garden, grass, oh, anything. garden waste. So we'll get that on as well Definitely. then, just over the top? Over the top. Ugh. Juicy. Ugh. Oh. And then things like earthworms and beetles will travel through there, they'll eat the matter and they'll turn it into compost. It's a really, really good way of storing carbon and also using it in the garden. Amazing. Well, should we get spreading then? Let's do it. Come on. Just like Farmer Lewis's cow muck, compost helps feed the soil and keep it healthy. You know what, before today, I hadn't really given soil a second thought, but actually, our environment really needs it. It's amazing. Hiya, Waxy here. Subscribe to the Blue Peter YouTube channel right now. Check out our playlist, like this video, and for more Blue Peter, check out the BBC iPlayer. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.